Hi, I'm Jay Sadler and in this video I'm going to be answering the question why do affirmations not work for most people? Hi, I'm Jay Sadler. You know, I love winners. I love seeing people overcoming the odds and becoming something greater than what they were when they first started. And if I've had a hand in helping them to become those winners, that gives me a humongous buzz. I really love it. And that's why I've started this channel to help people do just that. And today I want to talk about affirmations and why they don't work for most people. I'm going to share my experience with affirmations to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Now, I've been in this game for a while, as in personal development, self-help and so on, since 1990 in fact. So I've used thousands of affirmations over the years. I've repeated them probably tens of thousands of times. And yet, they did not get me anything that I wanted. I became a better person through that because mentally I was thinking positive and taking some positive actions and things like that but I was not creating the lifestyle that I desired and it puzzled me for years and years and years why was I not getting the lifestyle that I wanted the things that I wanted in life the things that I was asking for in my affirmations the things that I was declaring and then a few years ago I got into some Bob Proctor training and I found out that perhaps it was the wording that I was using. Instead of saying, I am a millionaire, it was better to say, I am happy and grateful now that I am a millionaire. So I was putting feeling and emotion into it as well. So I tried that. Still didn't work. Still didn't get the house of my dreams or the, my ideal car. I didn't get the money I wanted on my bank account. And it just, just puzzled me as well as frustrated me. In fact, my finances were taking a backward step instead of going forward. I was not a very happy person. And then this year, I found out why. The start of this year, just in January, from the 1st of January, in fact, it was on a show that I watched on uh, Facebook. It was a Facebook Live by Michael Lozier, the guy who wrote this book, The Law of Attraction. He told me why. It's because we're lying to ourselves. Now that seems to be a bit strong, but in a sense it is true. This is how it works. If you are stating something that you haven't got, such as I am fit and healthy or I am a millionaire, your subconscious mind will come up and say, oh no, that is not true. And will send out a negative vibration to the universe and to the law of attraction. This is how the law of attraction works. It matches vibrations. It doesn't listen to your words. It doesn't know what you're thinking. It doesn't know even if you're pretending or whether you are actually in that situation or not. It doesn't even care. All it does is match vibrations. And if you are sending out negative vibrations, that will negate any positive vibrations you're sending out and you end up with nothing. So how do you get around that? Reword what you want. Reword your desires. Find out what your desires are. Focus on them and reword them in such a way that it makes it true for you. And this is what Michael Lozier suggests to do. And this is what I've been doing. And I'm starting to have some fantastic results with this. Instead of saying, I am a millionaire, as an example, say, I am in the process of attracting and allowing my ideal level of abundance. It's true. Because you're constantly in the process. The law of attraction doesn't just stop. It's always attracting. It's always matching your vibrations. It's constantly on the move, you could say. So it's constantly working in your life. You are attracting all the time, whether positive or negative. So when you say you're in the process of doing something, that makes it true for you and the law of attraction will match that positive vibration and things will start to manifest in your life 
that you truly want. Now, obviously, there is more to it than that. And you have to go through the whole course so you can read the book and find out how to do that. And certainly with future videos, I will be covering different points from Michael's book and giving those as tips, as well as other things that I've learned as well from other modalities. So I hope that was for, uh, useful to you and helpful to you. And hopefully you'll be able to raise your vibration. So that's it guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you'd like to know more about the Law of Attraction, please send me an email. We can have a, a non-obligation chat about that. Hit subscribe please, hit the little bell so you get notified about the next video. Like and share this video. Leave me a comment, leave me some feedback. I really would appreciate it. Let us share this journey together as we can grow using the Law of Attraction. Thank you again, guys. Cheers.